So guys, we discovered something about Mars. There's no water immersion! Hey everybody, this is David and today we are going to talk about The Martian, the new Ridley Scott film that has just come out starring Matt Damon. And I got some friends here to talk about The Martian with me. And uh, so I guess we should start off with the, the good stuff, right guys? Yes, uh, so sure. Derek, what did, you, what did you like about The Martian? Well, I really liked the fact that uh, the acting, first of all, the acting was just really great on Martian. Matt Damon played a, a really good role. Um, mm -hmm. You really enjoyed the, the interaction between all the characters and how they tried to save Matt Damon at the end of the movie. I felt that was really good. Um, but I felt the acting could have been a little bit better in terms of like the raw emotion. I, I don't know about that. I think, I think all the actors in this film were really good. It's, it's, yeah, ex especially Matt Damon. Uh, I, but I also thought, you know, Chewie Tell Ejiofor, he was really good, and I also thought Jeff Daniels was really good. I thought all of them did a really good. Even the guys who were very limited, you know, his friends on the on the other spaceship when they had mm -hmm. to come back. And I, even though they had very limited screen time, I thought they were all really good. What about you, Kev? I feel the same way. Um, don't have any complaints. <laughs> <laughs> any favorite scenes, uh, Joel? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, my favorite scene was probably um, when he probably talked to his friends on the crew for the first time. By the way, I forgot to introduce everybody. <laughs> Here we have, to my uh, left, Derek. And to my right, Kevin. And Joel. That's right, okay. Now we can continue this review. Okay, so uh, what were you saying? <laughs> I like the part when he first talked to his, uh, his friends, the crew. Uh, when he was on Mars, and they were still on the the Hermes Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what about you, Kev? Any favorite I gotta, moments? I gotta say, it was when he started planting those plants with the potatoes as oh. seeds and growing potatoes. And he used shit as fertilizer. Yeah. To grow that. That's real how you, shit. Real shit. That's how you grow potatoes, everybody. If you want to grow potatoes, you use, use your root. shit as fertilizer. That's a scientific fact. <laughs> so. Um, I don't know. I, I really there were a lot of really good emotional moments in this movie. Specifically, you know, when when he got the messages back the, the first time when he got the message back from from Earth for the first time, it was really emotional. I thought that was really good. I thought the humor was really good in this movie. Yeah, um, well spaced, yeah. Well spaced out. It, it wasn't yeah. like a flat out. It wasn't a comedy, but it was like. Ni nice humor sprinkled here and there. To break the tension, I would to say. To break the tension. And there yeah. were some really intense moments in this movie, too. Especially the ending when uh, they tried to... You were hoping that they could catch Matt Damon. Seriously. And then... Every time they do things like this in movies, I always get this sense of, oh, come on, are they going to get him? Are they? And I know deep down inside that they they're going to they're gonna save the guy, but they, they do it so well in a way where it's like... Are they? You don't know. Dramatic Maybe. music. Exactly. Yeah. It was. It was very. The the tension was really good. But what there. about the beginning though? When they uh, kind of stranded him, I kind of felt that was a little bit weak. That mm -hmm. like you didn't really get a sense of like they were felt that huge loss. They kind of yeah. moved on. You felt that way? Yeah, I agree. There was no crying. There was no like. There wasn't. That's the only part that it really got to me. That raw emotion. And then Matt Damon when he was on the planet alone. He didn't really like. He said the f word, but he didn't really. You didn't really see that. Yeah, he was, he, you don't really see him showing that. Like he was so like. I would have freaked the shit out. I would have been going crazy. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's true. I would have. I would have been going crazy. I don't know. I I kind of actually disagree because they kind of. Even though they didn't show it, you still grab it. Yeah, you still understood. like like you still understood mm -hmm. that they he was frustrated. Yeah. The yeah. parts that they did show, I think he did a good job. Like, like his acting, his emotional yeah. times. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, Matt Damon. I I've heard a lot of people say Oscar nomination for him in, for this movie. I I mm, I have to see other movies first. I have to see other. But yeah, he was really good. Definitely, maybe yeah, it's possible. Yeah, possible. I don't think he'll win. The well, then again, I have to see the rest of the movies that might be nominated this year. So, uh, that's. That's that. And uh, what about things we didn't like about the movie? What what didn't you guys like about this film? The balloon. The, the balloon. The balloon? The balloon. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Uh, there was one part where they were showing like a montage of of when he had to get back to the to the um, 
whatever the spacecraft his crew was flying on, mm -hmm. and they were showing like what they were testing at NASA at back, back on Earth and what he was doing at the same time. And then like one part they started blowing up a balloon, and then it popped, and then it had like nothing to do with what they were doing. I don't remember. And then, and then it doesn't show, like, because what they were doing on NASA was, like, reflecting to what he was doing, because they were testing out, like, what he should be doing. But then they show them popping a balloon, and then he doesn't do the same. And it was, it was kind of weird. I, I don't remember if they gave an explanation for that balloon, but I'm, I'm sure there was one. It, I must have spaced out during that scene or something. I don't remember. I don't what remember about all that oxygen that like he somehow had? Like, there's a regenerator <laughs> that kept working off electricity, or maybe there's a little bit of the science, mm -hmm. like the water, like some the water they they kind of had a scene, but yeah. by heat and humidity, yeah, yeah. He made I the agree. water himself. That's how the water got on Mars. They, they showed the Matt water. Matt Damon made it. He made. But they the never water. showed he made how the water. they kept making oxygen, so it was kind of. They never really clarified on that. Yeah, yeah he just he kind of just says, oh, I'm making oxygen with these things, and that was it. I will say that even though I felt the movie was... It, it was nicely paced. I There were times where I was getting... Hmm, it, it felt like it almost got to that territory of, is this going to get a little bit slow now? But then it, it quickly, paid, it quickly uh, found its pace again. So uh, I wouldn't say it was... Uh, dragged out. Well, they sprinkled I, some tragedy here and there. Yeah. Like you saw him yeah. have some success, and then all of a sudden, oh no, the, the part of the the living quarters kind of blew up, blew up, and no, I like that scene. That yeah. was pretty. Good. That was cool because I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of expecting it because, like, after it was right after uh, the guy said, hopefully, like nothing goes wrong. Oh. And then, like, right after, yeah, that, something I was goes expecting wrong, it, it too. Like, That's right. So. But, yeah. Yeah. I, I know what you mean. I was expecting that too. And, um, I don't know, guys, is that anybody else, anything else said, or, no? It was, it was a good movie, it was very entertaining. I thought it was, it was really, really fun good to watch. I like when he got skinny a little bit, too, you gotta see him ration, when yeah. he was rationing out. It kind of reminded me of Castaway. Yeah. The whole movie yeah. was pretty much, it's like what everybody's been saying, it's Apollo 13 meets Castaway, I felt that way. Well, especially when he got skinny, because it's like what happened to Tom Hanks. Plus, plus yeah. a little bit of gravity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little bit of gravity there, too. Gravity. I can see that, too, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll wrap this up with uh, our scores and final sayings. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll go first. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this film. I think there was a... You know, I wasn't bored at all. Even though there were times where I thought, eh, could this get boring, this scene here? But no, it, it picked itself back up. And uh, it, it really had a nice smooth flu, uh, flow to it. So, um, yeah, I had a good time. I, I, I definitely recommend this uh, for moviegoers anywhere. Uh, Derek? I will also probably give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. It was entertaining, a lot of fun, and... I think one of the best movies out right now, so definitely go check it out. It great acting. You would not be disappointed. We actually saw it in 3D, so uh, 3D effects were quite nice too, mm -hmm. uh, I felt. So great, great film. Go check it out. Joel? 8.4 out of 10. 8.4? Yeah, pretty oh, you're good. You're going to the 0.4. I just go straight 8 or 9. Anyways, why? Um, everything was good, except for like, you know, some parts could have been better, but like, I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Good yeah. movie. Uh, I agree with Derek. Uh, 8 or 9 out of 10. Uh, I can't think of any bad, real bad moments or anything that I really think, but I know they're there, just hit in the back of my head type of thing. Uh, eventually I'll know where the bad points are. Right after right after we're done this video, Kevin will know yeah. everything that he liked and didn't like about exactly. the Exactly. <laughs> It'll come like exploding out. <laughs> but uh, a lot of good moments. Uh, especially the parts actually my favorite were when he was uh, alone on Mars yeah yeah. definitely had that like I said that castaway vibe yeah to it it was really it's like how you really love to watch Tom Hanks on that island yeah. the entire time this was it, it was great watching how he was figuring out how to survive on Mars created water and potatoes instead of fire <laughs> which shit exactly so guys, he needed a Wilson. He did though. make fire though too. Yeah, he did make fire. Oh yeah, he did. and it exploded the first. Anyway, Explosion. We're not gonna go too much. No, no spoilers. Michael People Bain, are gonna get uh, yell at us in the comments section, and uh, we're gonna wrap this up. And I'm going to say thank you for watching this video. 
Um, if you sub, subscribe, subscribe, yes, yeah, subscribe, he, see, yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and until next time, take care.